Hell. Yeah, hello, hello everybody. My microphone's being weird. It like disconnected for a second. That was uh really strange. Okay, hopefully it doesn't do that again during this uh stream. You guys are gonna have to tell me if my microphone just disconnects again, because that was really weird. Especially since I just uh fixed it and got it set up good. Let's hope it's good now. Let's hope it's good. But anyway. We're back guys and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the map as we start today there we go last uh, stream we ended off with this lake here and this lake over here so got a decent amount of pressure here but we'll check for deer anyway there's probably not a lot of them though nice how's everybody doing though Hope you're all doing well. Oh, there's some deer. That's a decent buck. That looks like another buck right there. And oh, well, that's a better buck. Uh, that might be diamond potential, but of course we scared it. So not going to be able to figure that out until a little bit later. So that's a little bit sad. It is what it is though. We'll see if we can get that guy down. I think that might be a diamond potential. There's a pretty decent chance that it just might be. Uh, can we maybe get one of these? I think that might be diamond potential. I couldn't tell what rack it was. Oh yeah, that's diamond potential. That is the diamond rack. That one's got a chance. That one's got a chance. How's everybody doing though? Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Zayden. Colin. Smash Bryce. Lane. Adam. Shock. Tallboy. Kevin. Ruger Boy. Uh, who else do we got in here? We got SK, we got Khan, Ben, uh, Duxton, Scratch, Harley, Joseph, Aaron, Jackson. How's everybody doing? That guy is giving us a shot now. Ooh, I almost took that shot. That could have been bad. Oh, it's so tempting to take that shot because that's a good looking buck. And it's got a chance at making it. I'm doing pretty good, Duxton. Doing pretty good. Shoot him in the stomach. <laughs> of course. What else would we do? Oh gosh, the lag. I just fast traveled and the lag immediately hit me. Nice, Ruger boy. That's awesome. Congratulations, dude. And also, guys, I, I uh, fixed some of the lag. I got my graphics card uh, overclocked a little bit again. So we shouldn't have as much lag as we did last stream. Which is hopefully uh, going to be good. Alright, I don't see anything over there. Oh, did we even grab anything over here? Did we claim those? I don't think we did. I think I got too focused in talking. Diamond off start? Hopefully. Hopefully that'll be a diamond. I think I forgot to pick up the deer over here. I might have picked up one, but I definitely missed the other one. Because it was kind of over here. Yeah, I think I only picked one up. Yeah, it is a giant. That is an absolute giant. Yeah, frame rate's feeling much nicer than last time. That's good. That is uh, very, very good. Thank you, Beast of the East. It's uh, so far been going pretty smoothly. Uh, so basically, the plan is we're going to go sign the uh, lease tomorrow. And then we will be moving into the place the next day. So we should be in the new place within the next few days, all set up, ready to record. Oh, I did forget to pick up the other one, because that was the first one I've claimed today. Where did it even go? Alright, well I have no idea where the other one went, I guess we'll just ignore that. This other one hopefully will be calmed down by now and we can go get it. 
Oh yes, Tallboy, it's much nicer than the place we're currently in. It's still not uh, anything insane, but it's going to be miles better than the current living situation, which is good. So that is uh, pretty awesome. It's going pretty good, Rain. Very, uh, very time consuming and busy, but we're getting most of the packing done. It's pretty much just uh, the stuff that we've got already packed away in totes and boxes that needs to be moved. And then uh, it should all be ready to just be loaded onto the... Uh, Load it onto the U-Haul once we get to the actual moving day. Okay, so I'm not seeing that uh, level 2 that has a chance of being a diamond. I'm going to guess that it's still spooked. Also, how did that miss vitals? We are just not hitting shots today, guys. The duck aim has returned in a stronger form than ever before. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels bad. Nah, I'm probably not going to do any uh, house tours. I won't do a house tour, but I might do a setup tour once I get all the new stuff for my setup. What's the biggest great one? Uh, that would be the Big Rack Great One, which uh, a lot of people call the Flinter Rack. And it typically scores like mid 600s. Low to mid 600s. It's quite the impressive rack. 12%? Oh no, Kyla. Feels bad. How you doing though? Yes, I'm still in Oregon. We're not moving out of Oregon. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Silver Ridge Peaks. Have you had issues with animal need zones disappearing when there's little pressure added? Grinding coyotes zones disappear and the animals move to very different lakes on Rancho. Uh, the only thing that I can think of that would be happening if you're not uh, deleting the zone from hunting pressure, then maybe you've shot all of the animals that were in that herd. Because even though they may be using the same zone, a lot of times there'll be multiple groups of animals using the same zones. And if you kill off one of those groups, then they will most likely go to a different area. It's kind of uh, confusing, but let's say you go up to a need zone, right? And you start collecting the tracks, right? Some of them... Like, let's say this whitetail zone over here. I'm not saying that it was like this for these ones, but there was like six or seven whitetail. In some cases, that could be two different herds, a herd of three and a herd of four. If I kill off the three that are in one of the herds, like if I just so happen to kill off the three that are in a herd together, those three will probably go somewhere else. Nice, Mr. Clean. Come on. Where's our diamond potential? I'm going to assume this guy's kind of just chilling off in the distance. Probably in the trees, so I think we'll have to get him next run. This is definitely his track. Yeah, no problem, Zevin. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? I saw that great mountain lion you got. That is a nice big male. How far did this one go? We shot at least one more. The crow rack is the smallest one. The crow rack. I, I don't even have the smallest possible rack. Come on, Hunter. Are you are you not going to find us what we need? Come on, buddy. Show us the way. Or you could not. That that works too. We'll just go to the other lake. <laughs> he was guaranteed diamond. Nice. That must have been nice to see. 
Hey, Ty, how's it going? What? <laughs> That's an 85 to 100 buck? What? <laughs> what am I looking at? That's disgusting. How is that an 85 to 100? That thing is a disgrace to all 85 to 100 bucks in the world. What are you, sir? You are excessively tiny. That just shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> that is the tiniest 85 to 100 buck ever. Insult them and they will respawn better. Exactly, it's worked in the past. I mean, we got our uh, great one number three by insulting the zone, so... You never know, it seems to work. Yeah, it's strange, Con. I've noticed it mainly started after the last update. I'm seeing more and more bucks that just... Score lower than you would expect for an 85 to 100. It's weird. Had four level three whitetail and all troll. That's unfortunate, Wyatt. It happens though, man. Just keep on grinding. Eventually you'll end up finding one of those nice diamonds. One of those things that takes time and there is a lot of chance involved with it. So one of these days it'll work out in your favor. Biggest things just don't give up. Alright, so, so I think since we're not uh, having lag today, I can probably turn off the... Where is it? The AMD Fidelity. Oh yes, we're still doing pretty good so far. Yeah, I think I fully got that issue fixed. I think the lag should be fully fixed. Beautiful. Looking good. All right. Let's go claim those. All right. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I don't got time for uh, foolery in the chat. Is tracking worth it if you don't hit the or an organ shot? Uh, personally, if it's a really bad shot and it's going to take a long time to chase after it, I typically don't because that trophy will respawn whenever you restart the game. So. I don't worry about the ones that you hit poorly, but I would always recommend claiming the ones that you do hit well. Hey, Destiny, how's it going? Glad you can make it. My day has been going pretty decent, just kind of finishing up packing, getting ready to move. Hey, Mason, how's it going, dude? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, where's that other doe? I'm assuming this is her. Got three diamonds already. Those were just today. Nice, Wyatt. So you have got a few diamonds. Then, then you, I guess you kind of know the uh, the whole drill with uh, Call of the Wild's diamonds. You never know what you're going to get. You never know if it's going to troll or if it's going to give you a diamond. Is 297 moose big? Yes, that's a really nice moose. Anything that's around that 295 to 300 plus range is a big moose. So 297 is a giant. Anybody else? Anybody else want to try? That's what I thought. And a moose score 0.3 below diamond. Ooh, that hurts, Evan. 
That always hurts. With moose especially. It always really hurts when a moose trolls. Because like some of those trolls look like they should make it. 226? That's a squished boy. And then that is a 175. Where's that one that was a really small 85 to 100? It's got to be one of these two. Oh yeah, this is him. Small boy 85 kg buck. And a little doe. Should be all of them. Also, you guys may hear a little bit of background noise since we are in the process of moving. So if you guys hear anything like banging around or like boxes moving or anything like that, it's, it is because we are in the process of moving. So there is a little bit of background noise, a little bit more compared to normal. Want another diamond red deer? They are pretty nice looking tall boy. I don't blame you. They're really nice. Getting some kind of weird sick. Don't even like drinking coffee right now. Are, are you okay, Kyla? Not not wanting to drink coffee. Something must be really wrong. Hey, country boys. You haven't missed anything too crazy yet. We spotted a dimel... A uh, dimel? That's not even English. A diamond potential deer. But it wouldn't come back to the zone, so we're waiting till uh, the next run. Coffee all around. For sure, Kyla. I definitely will. Definitely will. You would not believe, like, how difficult it is to try and pack when, like, we're trying to get everything situated and Aaliyah's also wanting attention the whole time. It has been interesting trying to take care of a baby and pack at the same time. Don't see anything here. Nothing there either. You were 20 seconds behind? <laughs> Nerd. What's my favorite DLC I've ever bought? I think my favorite DLC... I'd say it's gotta be the, uh, the AR pack. It's just been such a, an awesome DLC to use. By far, like, one of the best DLCs they've put together. We'll watch Aaliyah for you? Okay, uh, Caitlin. Let me know when you can do that, because that would be amazing. <laughs> Great one should be close. I hope so, Lewis. I hope so. Considering I'm moving in two days, it would be just incredible if we could find the Great One now. That would be quite the, uh, moving away present. Just bag a giant great one. Well, that's certainly not a great one. <laughs> it's actually the, quite the opposite of a great one. Alright, so it seems like we only have one up here. So we got our little solo doe zone. Got a solo doe though. Oh, actually there's a buck. Never mind, I'm blind. We got the Scarecrow is Blind zone over here. Gotcha, Flop. Yeah, I definitely recommend this uh, AR pack. It should be called the Modern Weapons Pack or the Modern Rifle Weapon Pack. That poor doe. Uh, yes, Wacky, I do have a Discord. It should be in the description of every uh, stream and every video as well. And it's also now in the chat. Solo Dodo sounds like a rhyme. It is indeed. We've got a whole emote around it as well. So we should have two down here and then it will be just the other ones we shot across the water. Hey, call the wild man gaming. Nothing good yet, but we did spot ourselves a diamond potential level two that we will take out once it uh, gets back to its zone. It was being a little bit stubborn, so we're just giving it some time to come back. 
Hopefully we can end up finding him again, which we should be able to. I see no reason why he wouldn't come back to his zone eventually. Okay, that's one we missed. I am sorry, ma'am. That did not look comfortable. Welcome back, Smash. Yeah, me too, Johnny. It'd be good. That would be really nice. Wow, nothing over here. Okay, interesting. Still have a zone there, just uh, no deer. What rack would I like for this great one? I really want the typical looking one. But I would also take the drop time one. Really any rack that I don't have, I'd love to get. Just so we have some variety in the lodge. I don't think being shot is comfortable. Probably not. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say no. You think they should improve the whitetail racks? Yeah, I, I, I'm not a big fan of the current whitetail racks, except the great ones. The great one racks and then a couple of the like mid-sized diamonds are really the only ones that I think look good. And there's a couple of this really small level twos that look pretty realistic, but most of them are very lackluster in terms of what real whitetail should look like. Should have maybe one or two left. Although, there's a couple that we shot that I don't know if they'll die fast, so we might not be claiming all of these. Because I'm pretty sure we got a poor shot on at least two of them, and we missed one as well. There should be a doe back there that we missed. Okay, yeah, it looks like the uh, remaining ones were not hit well. So, I guess we'll move on to this lake here. Just got a level 4 gold albino wildebeest. Nice, dude, that's awesome. Congratulations. I don't really say uh, where I live, uh, half run. Let's just say I'm moving to another part of Oregon. More of just getting out of the place we're currently in because it's got issues. Just getting into a better place that doesn't have so many problems going along with it. It's a decent buck. Wow, I haven't had a zone here in ages. That's interesting. That's actually really interesting. I have not had a zone here since the update. But now we've got one here again. That's actually kind of cool. It's good to see it because our tent is like right there. Oh, we we removed the tent. That's right. Um, hmm. Feels bad. Feels bad, man. Now we got to go clear over there. Oh, I got some decent deer there as well. Just got more coffee. Please don't say anything to make me laugh. <laughs> okay. I will attempt to not absolutely murder you like I did myself when I drank the coffee and then choked on it. That was a very, very low point in the uh, career of Scarecrow, choking on coffee and losing my voice for like three weeks. That's got to be the lowest point of the Scarecrow YouTube channel. Almost taken out by coffee. I can't tell where that decent buck went. That's definitely not him and that might be. I think that might be him. Oh, there's a deer there too. Wow, there's a lot more deer than I thought. A lot more there than I thought. Nice. Oh, you did, Caitlin? That's that's not good. That sounds painful. That sounds even more painful than just coffee. Jeez. 
Do I hunt in real life? Yes, I do, Flop. I have not done it recently, but when I was growing up, I used to go hunting with my dad. So I have been hunting, just not super often. Yeah, definitely not, Smash. It was a rough time. How do you do this? Uh, it, it just comes as a natural talent. I am very good at, like, absolutely doing the things that you would not expect to be possible. There's the music right on cue. You know, I think we gotta go check for that diamond again now. We just had the, the epic music kick in, so we need to go get ourselves that diamond. Since we spotted him earlier and have just been waiting for him to come back to his own, I think it's about time we go take him out. I think we grabbed all the deer that we had downed anyway, so let's head back and try to get this thing down. What's my hidden talent? Um... I mean, I'm secretly Flinter. I don't know if you can really consider that a talent, but... There's that. There he is! There's our beast of a buck. That we will, uh, need to add to the that thing. Yeah. Alright. Take two. <laughs> there he is. Well, not, not him. There's that guy. An absolute giant. An absolute beast of a buck. That we will 100% be taking down in the next couple seconds. Let's go ahead and get him to move. Let's see if we can get this guy down. That is an absolute monster level 2. Probably one of the largest ones I've ever seen. Most of the time, level 2s do not quite get to this level of uh, largeness and epicness. But this guy did. And I think it's time we take him down if he'll ever get away from these does. Can you, can you guys move, please? Gonna have to start shooting you out of the way. Okay. If you're not gonna move, you're going down with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was a train wreck, but it was beautiful. <laughs> it really did, Johnny. That was not a good time for me. <laughs> Oh, well, it'll make for an interesting video highlight. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to blame it on the fact that I have been packing and trying to get everything ready and my brain's been running a million miles an hour. We'll, we'll just blame it on that. <laughs> oh, man. I think eventually they'll do stuff like that, Tris Tris, but I think they want to get all the Truex uh, species completed first, like finishing off the Truex for Verhonga. And then I think we probably will get something like drop tines or things like that. This commentary of a diamond yet. I'm glad you guys liked it. Because that was, that was all over the place for me. Alright, here's the unfortunate doe that blocked her buddy. I'm sorry, ma'am, but your sacrifice was uh, not done in vain as we now have a possible diamond whitetail that could be getting added to our lodge. That's, oh my gosh, look how wide this guy is. That is crazy. That is crazy for a level two. I think this is going to be 262.1. This is a big deer. This is a really big deer. Correction. He's not as big as I thought. How is that only 255? He is so wide. The only thing I can think of is this must be... This rack must be one size below the small rack diamond. And it's just so wide that it made it anyway. I think that has to be what happened here. Because that guy looked like it should have scored much higher. That's still a good deer, though. Regardless, that's a good deer. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
that was like some really interesting lead up to the uh, to the kill, but I'll take it. I will take it. It, it made it interesting at least. Non-vitals. Well, we got some tracking to do. Come on, Hunter. Let's put you to use. At least I didn't get skunked. Yeah, true, William. At least it wasn't a troll. Or, well, I guess it wouldn't technically be a troll because it's a level 2 and not a level 3, but at least it wasn't a gold. At least it still made it. Possibly, Ty. Yeah, I think it's just one of the smaller racks that normally doesn't make it. But it's just wide enough to where it barely made it. I feel like that's probably what happened. Can I stream and talk about sports now? Probably not going to, considering I know nothing about sports. I don't uh, follow any sports. So I wouldn't be a very good fit for that. You never know though, maybe once I move we'll start up like a Call the Wild podcast. Maybe uh, get myself and a couple other content creators to do like a, a weekly podcast or something. I think that could be a lot of fun. And I think it could be great for everybody to watch as well. Just as like an informational thing. We could have like special guests on. We could uh, talk about like some of our biggest tips, uh, some of our methods, our favorite things to do in Call of the Wild. We could talk about upcoming news for Call of the Wild. Uh, upcoming updates we could talk about ultimate hunting we could talk about classic like it could be cool i could really see a lot of people enjoying like a uh a hunting game podcast i don't think that's even a thing i don't think anybody has done one but i know myself and kill clinton and a couple other content creators throughout the months have talked about the possibility of a podcast being a really cool thing so i think that would be awesome and also, it would give, like, different people in the community that normally don't talk to each other a chance to, like, jump into a video together and kind of learn more about each other. And Because I'm sure there's plenty of content creator creators out there that I may have, like, a different view of them than what I would if I actually talked to them. And actually, like, sat down and had a chat with them during, like, a podcast-style thing. I think it could be good. Alright, I don't see anything over here anymore, which is probably because it's 1130. <laughs> yeah, Kyla. <laughs> oh, gosh. Biggest feral goat? I don't remember. Mine's either 222 or 224. Can't remember. It's one of those. That's actually what I had talked about naming it a few months ago, Tallboy. I don't know if that'll actually be the official name of it. Like, I've been talking about doing a podcast-like thing for months. But now that I'm going to be moving, I think it'll be a little bit more possible to do something like that. Because I'll have a larger uh, area to set up. And I'm most likely going to invest in some better soundproofing. That way I can have more time to record because currently where we live my setup is in our bedroom right so I can't exactly record at night because my wife and daughter are sleeping and I typically stay up later than most people so like if I could still record during those times and it not like wake people up then that would be amazing so I'm hoping that uh hoping to build like a soundproofed area probably get myself uh, I'm thinking of doing like a couple sheets of plywood or press board or whatever works better and just completely lining it with acoustic foam and just kind of creating a box around my area oh I didn't know about that Johnny I had no idea that was even a thing Yeah, as I was saying, I stay up late a lot of the times, and it would really be nice if I could, like, record late as well. So I'm thinking about just fully soundproofing an area around myself. That way I won't wake people up while I'm doing it, and it'll give me more time to do recordings and editing and even streaming. Although I, I doubt I'll do any late night streams. That's a bit much. How do you zoom out on your map? Uh, you use the scroll wheel. 
If you're on console, I actually have no idea. I think it's the right stick. Or maybe it's the left stick. It's one of those. Alright, we got nothing over there. Yeah, yeah, true, Clager, true. That's funny, like, two of my great ones I've killed really late at night because I stay up so late. One of them I killed, like you were saying, at like 4 a.m. The other one I killed at like 2 a.m. Kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, Neve. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, no deer. Okay. I guess we are heading to this lake slightly earlier than normal. Considering we just, uh... You know what? Honestly, let's just go to the main menu and back in to fix that. Because if you go to the main menu and then enter back in, all the deer should go to their zones if you're within their drink time. So we'll just do that. Makes things easier. And I crashed. Okay, well. That works too. Pulled a couple all-nighters. Oh, I used to do that quite a bit, Ben. When I was like, probably ages 17 to 19, I stayed up for like 36 hours, like every other week. Yeah, hopefully, Con. Hopefully you get it soon, dude. Loading Great One, please wait. Imagine. We crash because the Great One's trying to spawn. That would be amazing. Those diamond crashes are so rare now. They really are. It's not too often your crash scores diamond. Oh gosh, that lag. Now it's got to load the uh, map again. Beautiful. Exactly, Shock. <laughs> exactly. I never used to sleep ever. Back uh, when I first really got into Ark super heavily, I spent so much time playing on uh, unofficial PvP servers. And so I would stay up for like 36 hours at a time just doing stuff on Ark. But there's no way my body could do that nowadays. It's just too much. Between, like, taking care of a baby and, uh... That was really loud. <laughs> Between taking care of a baby and doing streaming and videos full-time, it is not as easy for me to stay up 36 hours straight. Oh my gosh, that stutter, man. That's a rough stutter. But we got him. We got him anyway. Beautiful. Ark is life if you play it. It really is, man. Like, even if you don't play the official servers, which literally sometimes take weeks to raise certain baby dinos, literally takes like a week to raise some of them. Even if you don't play the official modes where it does take that long, there's still a lot of things that take like over a day to complete. It's a, such a time consuming game, but it's so good and so much fun at two. I'm really excited to see how Arc 2 is. I'm curious if they're going to take the same direction with making everything take a long time or if it's going to be even harder or if it's going to be easier. Really curious to see how Arc 2 is going to do that. Uh, this is Call of the Wild, Gabby. This right here is the Hunter Call of the Wild. Haven't played Ark in a while. It's such a fun game, Con. Ark has been one of those games where I've played it for years and still am not tired of playing it. I think there's one more left. Do I have any tips on how to get more rares? There really is no secret to getting rares. It's kind of just you shoot animals and you hope that they respawn as a rare. 
Every time you shoot an animal, a new one will spawn somewhere on the map. Most of the time, it'll come back to the same general area. And there's a small chance that it will come back as a rare. So it's really just a matter of shooting a lot of animals and hoping that one of them comes back as a rare. There isn't really like any, uh, I guess, secret to getting uh, rares. It's more of just the more you shoot, the more chances you have. Which is why a lot of times it pays off to learn a lot of the locations that animals drink. Because it can help you quite a bit in being able to find lots of animals quick. And the quicker you can find animals in general, the quicker you'll be able to get them down and get those extra chances of possible rares. All right, so that's a bighorn zone. Also, what do you guys think of some of these new songs? A lot of these songs will be used as intros or uh, as intro music for some of the videos. I'm curious what you guys think about some of these. Couple decent bucks there. Did not mean to take the scope off. And I think that might have cost me that deer. Hail Mary shot. Don't know if that'll work. Uh, yeah, Aiden, we got ourselves a diamond level two. As of now, that's been the only uh, decent thing we've got. Gotcha, Will. Gotcha. I'll uh, try to remember to say Will. But a lot of times when I read chat, I just like read the first part of the name and that's how I address you, but I will try to remember that. Have you ever stayed up 52 hours? No. Uh, the longest I stayed up was 42. 42 hours was the longest I ever stayed up. And once again, it was because of Ark. <laughs> nice, Aiden. That's nice, dude. A 272.3, that's a very big whitetail. Nice, William. That's awesome. Always a fun time on Ark. Lodge tour? I've already done a lodge tour pretty recently. Like a month and a half, maybe two months ago, we posted a lodge tour. We really haven't added too much since then. Nothing over here. Um, question is, do we have deer on this side? We might. There might actually be some deer over here this time. Since we don't have any across and we don't have any over there. Ooh. Well, there's definitely something here. But what about across here? I don't see one over there, but we do have this doe that we spooked off. Nice. I don't know if there's going to be another one. If there is, we'll just get ready and if it comes running through here, then maybe we can get a shot on it. Hmm. Looks like it was just this one. And nothing through here. There is one more spot on this side we could check. And it's right by these rocks. But I don't see anything, so I'm going to assume there's nothing at that zone. Great one, next lake I'm calling it. I hope so, Slushy. I hope so, man. That was a lot of deer. That's a decent buck right there. A little bit of a smaller one next to it. Another small one. So we got one decent buck in this group. Honestly, let's go ahead and prone. Might as well give ourselves a little bit of an advantage in uh, recoil control by proning. Five shots just like that. The magic of proning.
Unfortunately, it didn't carry over to the second mag. <laughs> we got it really good the first mag. Second lag. Second lag? Second mag. Not so much. Flawless victory. Something like that. It was flawless until it wasn't flawless. Then it all went downhill. Yeah, it looks like that's probably on your end, uh, William. I'm not having any issues on my end. Are you excited for Easter? I am, Julian. I am. It's uh, one of those times a year that I get to see a bunch of my family that I typically don't see throughout the, the rest of the year, so it's going to be fun. Bigfoot equals big fun. It does. Pro drops a whole herd. That's what I do. Gotta get those herd down so that you can get the full herd respawn. Do they have a new 308 or a 308 that isn't an AR? Uh, no. The only 308 is the AR. I'd like to see some more 308s for sure, though. But because of how crazy good this 308 AR is, I wouldn't be too upset if this is the only 308 we get because it is a beast of a rifle. But I, I definitely would like to see a bolt action one. It would be so cool just to have as an option to use. And I think a lot of people would use it just because it's a very popular choice in real life to use a 308 bolt action. Yeah, the camo is a different wrap for it. There is two variations of the 308 AR. Dream Harvest, Diamond, Melanistic, Red Deer. That is my Dream Harvest. I think eventually they might bend, but just going to be a matter of like how long does it take for them to do it? Great one, Melanistic Red Deer, more better. Yeah, if it existed, that would be pretty cool. That would be cool if it was a thing. Uh, what do you mean, Hamburg? Are you talking about tents? I'm assuming you mean tents. And all I do is just grinds like this. I have found that a lot of the time when you're grinding, you earn quite a bit of cash and that's really good for getting tents. What I would recommend doing, if you're relatively early on in your account and maybe don't have a lot of money and don't have a lot of tents to do like uh, grinds for setting up on a map, kind of like I'm doing, I would recommend checking out my Diamond Before Level 60, or not Diamond, my uh, Great One Before Level 60 series. Because in that series, I start on a fresh account and basically show the process of how I work my way up from having nothing to being able to afford tents and stands for a full setup. I think it'll help out quite a bit because Red Deer grinding, if you know where to go and you know how to get lots of stag down quick, you can make so much money because they give over 1000 to 1400 per Red Deer, which that is really good. I know that's just, uh, that's just Discord, Kyla. That's just for Discord and Twitch. Uh, YouTube, there is no age limit. I have gripped, uh, it's not really my thing, but I do it occasionally. I've done face cam before in the past. I've done a face reveal. I've got lots of live streams that I've done with face cam. It's just not something I personally do that often because, I don't know, I just don't really like it for hunting games mainly. But once I move, I probably will do a few more of them than normal because I'll have a nicer area to actually set up for recording. Possibly even going to get a green screen, maybe. I think that would be kind of nice. It really is, Kyla. But I think it's partially because they do have the YouTube kids and they also have uh, a lot of like protection laws in place and like regulations on the website itself so 
I think that's kind of like how they counteract that. Or I guess how they balance it out. Yeah, Grip. The biggest thing with uh, webcams though. For me personally, the reason that I don't use it a lot, it's a couple different things. One of them is I'm just not comfortable being in front of a camera for multiple hours at a time. It's okay for like maybe an occasional video here and there because when you're recording, there's nobody watching you and I can retake it as many times as I want. But when it comes to live streams, anytime I have the webcam on, I'm always just constantly worried about like what faces I'm making, what I'm looking like, what I'm doing. And, uh, it, it honestly just heightens my anxiety more than I already have, which is, I'm already, I already have more anxiety than the normal person, so. It's just not great for me personally. And then the other thing is I feel like it takes away from the actual immersion of the game, which is the second reason why I don't use a face cam. That's a cool buck. Really tight, uh, tip to tip spread. Yeah, Ben, but I'm not going to sacrifice my own well-being just to show my face. Oh, no, there's always a uh, crosshair if you have it enabled, Hamburg. It depends on what your settings are. I have it turned on, so I always have a crosshair. But it can also be disabled, so some people disable it so there is no crosshair at all. I like having it there just so I can get an idea of where the center of my screen is. Yeah, I agree, Adam. The green screen does make it a lot better, which is why I'm thinking about getting it just for the times that I do a face cam. And most likely, uh, the streams that I would primarily use a face cam with are streams on, like, PvP-focused FPS games, because I feel like that's where the face cam is used the best. Like, I'll do it during my Escape from Tarkov streams whenever that game gets another big update. And then also for stuff like Dead Side, The Hunter Primal would be a good game for that possibly because of the fact that there's jump scares and stuff. But at the first, you know, honestly, at the same time, Primal's also a good game without it because it it's a very immersive game. For me, it'll vary quite a bit depending on how I'm feeling that day and also what game we're playing. But I can tell you that we will be using it a little bit more once I move because I'll actually have a nicer area to kind of set everything up the way that I want so it'll look nice. Because that's the other thing that prevents me from doing it is I'm very picky with what the backdrop looks like, what the lighting looks like. So once I can get to an area where it'll be nicer, I might be, be a little more inclined to want to do the face cam. Five hour stream, yes, we will be doing some five hour streams for the 50k celebrations and we might do face cam during part of them, you never know. I guess it depends on how quickly I get everything set up. Because there's a lot of things that I have to try and get and then get set up for this new setup that I'm going to have. Call of Duty, maybe? Yeah, games like that, I can see a face cam being a little more fitting. And then, like, for a game like Counter-Strike, it would fit better as well. But I think the biggest one for me is Escape from Tarkov. That's a game where I would probably prefer to have a face cam because that game is intense. And also a mouse cam. Having a mouse cam would be cool. I've tried the mouse cam in the past and I kind of liked it. Oh, that was not... Okay, I didn't actually mean to shoot there. I was uh, going to hit my scroll wheel and I, I missed it. Rip. At least we got it still. Hey Brody, how's it going, dude? Bullfrogs on Mississippi? 
Hmm, I don't know how that would work. How would you even, like, uh, hunt them? I don't think they could honestly do it very well. I don't think they'd be able to actually, like, add them in and have them work properly. I feel like that would be very difficult. I feel like they would be too small to where they'd be clipping through objects all over. And they'd just be hiding in the grass the whole time. They'd also be really hard to animate with their jumping and stuff like that. And they'd be really difficult to hit as well, especially for people on console. I don't see them ever doing frogs for those uh, reasons. Would it be fun? Yeah, it'd be fun. But I just don't think it would be a good idea to try and implement that. What would I like to see? More true X for all animals applicable or true size for everything? Uh, I don't know. I, I am a little more worried about antlers, so I'd rather see good true racks on everything. But both would be great additions to the game. My personal preference is true racks over true size. Because I, I do like having variety in the antlers. And the horns of the species. And I feel like the more in-depth they go with the true racks system, the better things will be. Like I would much rather see non-typicals, drop tines, stickers... Stuff like that over having true size or something along the lines of that. That's just me though. I know there's a lot of people that like the true size idea as well. Alright, which one do we want to shoot first here? Probably him. Oh, they moved. That's a decent deer. No, we hit the tree. That was the most inconvenient lag spike ever. That was so inconvenient. Ooh, okay. All right then, all the lag spikes. I mean, she's going down, so we'll probably just leave it at that. Hey Buckmaster, welcome to the stream. Yeah, true B-Boy. I mean, they do need it. I'm just saying I wouldn't prioritize it over better true racks. Because there's uh, some species that are really lacking in the true axe department. And then there's some that still don't even have the system on Verhonga. So I would prioritize better true axe, more true axe, uh, before true size. Also, what did you guys think of today's video? I know it was a little bit different than normal. Would you guys like to see more update videos like that? Kind of talking about stuff that's going to be happening. And uh, I guess just kind of like uh, stuff about what's going on in my own life. I remember seeing a few comments under one of the posts I made saying that there were some people that would like to hear more about what's actually going on for me. And stuff like that. I was shocked to see you on MedFed. Yeah, well, I wanted to get every map done so I could just make the intros for them. So I figured, let's just get MedVed out of the way. Let's just get MedVed out of the way. And then next up is probably going to be Hirschfelden. Just get my two least favorite maps out of the way so that I can work on the maps that I like a bit more. What is a sticker? It's kind of like a... Um, it's kind of like a point that comes off the side of an antler. Like, let's say you have this beam right here, the G2. Let's say there's a tiny point coming off the side of it. That would be a sticker. Some people also call them flyers and a couple other things, but I call them stickers. And then a drop tine is one that would be coming off the bottom, going straight down. I don't think that you would consider a drop tine like something coming off of the G2s or like one of the other points. I'm pretty sure it's a sticker if it's off of a tine, and a drop tine if it's coming off of the beam. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that's how it is. Could we do a mule deer stream? 
We could possibly do that. It's been a bit since we've uh, really grinded mule deer, and I, I would like to get a big rare. I still don't have a rare mule deer that scores more than, like, 260, so... That could be a goal for us eventually. I think once we get this next uh, great one, then we'll focus on some stuff like that more. Yeah, we did just hit 49.3. You guys are just absolutely been like crazy with the sport recently. I feel like I've talked about it almost every stream and video recently, but I am just so blown away at the support for the channel. You guys are just absolutely amazing and really allow me to do what I love. Based only mule deer in real life was a 183. Nice, Michael. That's a good one. Only got a silver mule. I'm assuming you've uh, started relatively recently from the, uh, from what I've been seeing in the chat. You'll get some big ones eventually. The more you play the game, the more big ones you'll find. Nice, Johnny. Nice. Yeah, drop times would be amazing. One of my most wanted things in Call of the Wild is the non-typicals and also drop tines, stickers like I was mentioning. Those things would be amazing for the game. Number eight on leaderboards for a while. Nice, P-Boy. I have not got too many nice uh, non-typical mule deer in classic. Most of mine have been pretty small. I think my biggest one was just barely 300 or maybe it didn't even quite break 300. Just shot a mellow female Iberian wolf that was aggressive at me out of nowhere. Nice, Rick. That's awesome. Nice, Hatch. Still collect gold because I just started. Is there a reason you don't? Uh, it's, it's more of just because I play the game. I play the game for hours and hours every day. Or normally I would. Right now I'm in the process of moving, so I'm not playing as much, but... Normally, I play this game for hours and hours every day, and so at the point where I am with 3,500 hours put into the game, uh, golds are something that comes pretty often just because I know where to look for deer, I know where to look for animals. So for me, it's just diamonds, and if I were to like tax every gold, I wouldn't have any space left in my lodge because of the amount of hunting I do in this game. It's more of just I'm at the point in this game where I've, I've played it so much that I just can't tax things unless it's a diamond or a rare. Otherwise, I'll just have no space to put any of them. Got my fourth Melanistic Red Deer. Nice, Highlander. I'm still looking for my first. <laughs> Still looking for my first male melanistic here on my main account. Got one on my 0 to 60 great one before level 60 series, but don't have one on my main, sadly. Nice, Candace. Uh, you don't have to repeat the same thing, by the way. Give me some time to reply. It, it, it may take a little bit sometimes because there's a lot of people in chat, but I try to read as much as I can. Thank you, Master Flash. I appreciate that. Yeah, during update times, I play roughly six to seven hours a day, typically. Right now, it's pretty pretty low compared to that because of the fact that I'm moving, and we're quite a ways after the last update now. We're a couple months since the last update, so I'm not playing as much the last, like, three or four weeks, but uh, during the times where we have new updates, I play a lot.
Yeah, Hollow, that's, uh, that's how it usually is. Hey, Basic, how's it going, dude? We got one diamond so far. As of now, that's been the only thing notable. Decent deer. Come on, great one. Where are you, sir? Can you just show up already? That would be quite kind of you. Honestly, I think we're probably going to go ahead and end it for today. Uh, I know, shorter than normal, but uh, like I mentioned a few days ago, the streams that we do have until I move are going to be a bit shorter than normal since I can't dedicate as much time to it while I'm trying to pack. But we got ourselves like an hour of streaming today, so we at least got some grinding done and did manage to get a diamond, so that is really nice. Happy that we at least got something good. Well, I'm going to hop off. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We will be back to having longer streams in probably like four or five days from now. Uh, we're going to be signing the lease tomorrow, then we're going to be moving the next day. And I think we should probably be fully moved and unpacked probably like two or three days after that. So you guys can expect the streams to be back to normal in roughly four to five days. Depending on how quick we get everything done. But thank you guys for being here. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.